welcome once more to another edition of mathematics pro so today we are going to solve linear equation with bracket so let's get started with number one so with question one we have seven bracket x plus three equals to 56 okay so before we move further you can ask yourself this question seven times which number will give you 56 seven times which number bracket in general mean times so seven times which number is equal to 56 so if we have seven times eight right will be equal to 56 so if we look at this question what do we need to add to three to give us eight so we are going to have if we have seven bracket we have an unknown value plus 3 equals to 56 so we can use critical thinking method so before I said 7 times 8 is 56 so which number do we need to add to 3 to give us 8 of course it's 5 so this implies that x x for this question is equal to 5 so this implies that x is equal to 5 so with this method we use critical thinking let's look at another method to solve this question so our x is equal to 5 okay another method in solving this we can go directly by opening the bracket so that one is the most common method so it means we are going to open the bracket so if we have 7 times x this will give us 7x plus 7 times 3 is equal to 21. This will be equal to 56. So remember, we have to bring like terms together. So we have plus 21 and 56 are like terms. But whenever a plus sign crosses the equal sign, it becomes minus. So when we have a sign, as soon as it crosses the equal sign, it becomes the opposite. So plus 21, as soon as it crosses the equal sign, it will become negative. So this implies we are going to have 7x should be equals to 56 minus 21. 7x will give us, if we minus 21, we are going to have 35. So, what does 7x equals to 35 mean? It means 7 times which number is equal to 35. We know that 7 times 5 is 35. So, another way we can do it also, we want to have x, but there's 7 here. The only way to do that is to eliminate the 7 by dividing both sides by 7. So, this implies x will be equal to 5. Now, if you want to do it faster, if you just have 7x is equals to 35, you want x, it means you need to divide by 7. So x will be equal to 35 divided by 7, which is also equal to 5. Okay, let's look at another method of solving this, third method. Now remember in math when as I said before if we have like 7x is equals to 35 for 1x we need to divide by 7 so that x will be alone. So for this question if we this bracket is just like our unknown if we don't want this 7 we can divide all the equation by 7 on both sides so we can do that so we can if we want to eliminate seven we can divide all through by seven so this seven and the seven will cancel so we'll be left with x plus three should be equals to 56 divided by seven will give us eight so this implies x will be equals to eight remember i said when we cross the plus sign when we have plus and it crosses the other side because the equal side has to be negative so this will be 8 minus 3 so x 
will be equal to 5 still okay let's move a little bit fast to the next question so for question two we have to open the bracket so what you should know is that when we have a minus times a minus because i said before bracket represent times a minus times a minus is a plus so this will give us 2x a minus times a plus will give us minus minus 8 then if we open this bracket as well 3 times 2x will give us 6x plus 3 times 2 is 6 next we need to bring like terms together so we have 2x this is plus 6x when it crosses it becomes minus so this will become minus this will become minus 6x we need to bring like terms together and here we have 6 and when the minus 8 also cross it become plus so this will become plus 8 2x minus 6x this will be minus 4x this will give us if we add this together we are going to have 14 sorry we are going to have 14 so x if we want only the x there is this minus 4 we are going to have 14 divided by minus 4 and we can simplify this so x will be equals to we know that 14 is the same as 2 times 7 and minus 4 is the same as minus 2 times 2 so we can see this 2 and this 2 we cancel out so our answer will be equals to minus 7 over 2 for question 3 so we have this question the first thing to do is to open the bracket very carefully so we are going to have 4 times x which is 4x 4 times minus 3 this will give us minus 12 next we have minus 3 a minus times a plus is a minus so we are going to have minus 9 and a minus times a minus is a plus so we are going to have plus 3x okay we do the same here we are going to have 5x plus 10 so next you look very carefully a minus times a plus this will give us minus 9 times 8 will give us minus 72 okay so a minus times a minus here we are going to have plus 9x plus 20 so next we need to bring the like terms together here we have 4x plus 3x so this will give us 7x next we have minus 12 minus 9 this will give us minus 21 should be equals to here we have 5x plus 9x will give us 14x and here we have 30, 10 plus 20 is 30 minus 72 this will give us minus 42 okay next we need to bring like them together so remember again I said when you have a plus sign when it crosses the equal sign it become minus so these are like terms we are going to bring them together so I can start by writing this I can start by writing 14 we're going to have 14x this plus 7x when it costs 14x minus 7x then here we have minus 21 here and the minus 42 we cross and become positive plus 42 so if we simplify this we are going to have 14x minus 7x will give us 7x 
and 42 minus 21 so this will be equals to 21 so if we want to have the value of x we need to divide by 7 so x will be equals to 21 divided by 7 x will be equals to 3 so this is the value of x let's move to the last question so we have this bracket and to solve this type of question you have to be 100 percent careful when you're opening the bracket so you can solve it by you can push the video anytime and solve this question and try to see if you got the answer right so if we open this bracket first this will give us 12x okay so if we open this we are going to have 12x minus 12x squared sorry because 3x times 4x this will give for a quadratic 12x squared so if we multiply this we are going to have minus 3x so this one will give us plus 16x and we have minus 4 always be very careful then um, we have a minus between this bracket so be careful make sure you write the minus apart have minus first so if we open this bracket we are going to have 7x square plus 7x minus 2x minus 2 and this one will give us 5x square minus 10x minus 3x minus 10 so minus plus 6 minus 1 okay so if we have to simplify this we have to bring the like terms together so this will give us this was 16x sorry so if we simplify this we are going to have 12 x square 16 x because this was 4 times x 16 x minus 3 x will give us 13 x plus 13 x minus 4 minus we can simplify this first in the bracket so here we have 7 x square 7 x square this one will give us plus 5 x minus 2 simplify this further we are going to have 5 x square minus 13 x plus this will give us 5 so still we have to bring the light terms together still but we can open this bracket since there's a minus here all the sign will change to the opposite so this will give us 12 x square plus 13 x minus 4 this will become minus 7 x square when we open the bracket minus 5 x this is minus it will change to plus 2 this will be equals to 5 x square minus 13 x plus 5 then let's simplify the like terms together 12 minus 7 12 minus 7 will give us 5 so you are going to have 5 x square and 13 x minus 5 x will give us plus 8 x then this one will give us minus 4 plus 
2 will give us minus 2. If we move further here, we have 5x squared minus 13x plus 5. We have to bring like terms together to simplify this. So we have to bring the like terms together. So we can see that here is plus 5x squared. When it crosses, it becomes minus. So this and this one we cancel out because this is plus this one will cause and become minus 5x squared minus 5x squared will cancel out so this and this will cancel out we'll be left with 8x then we still have to bring 8x minus 2 should be equal to minus 13x plus 5 last step we have to bring like them together so this will give us 8x, this is minus 13, so when it calls the equal side, it becomes plus 13x. Should be equals to 5, this is minus when it calls plus, so this we were going to have 5 plus 2, which is 7. So this will give us 21x, should be equals to 7, this implies x will be equal to 7 divided by 21 x will be equal to one third or a third okay thanks for watching please do